Hi guys, it's Lauren with Talent Recap, and I'm here with Kat, semi-finalist. How does it hear to? How does it feel to hear that? It's so weird. Still, I mean, this journey has been felt like um, it's taken a million years, and like it's been like four seconds at the same time. So it's so weird to hear semi-finalist and see how far all of us have come to get here. It's just. It's been crazy. <laughs> so fast and slow at the same time, I'm right, sure. Right. <laughs> and you have such a beautiful presence when you're on stage. How, like, where does that come from? Do you feel like that's your comfortable space? Like, that's where you really can put all your personality and let your light shine? <laughs> yeah, I mean, um, I definitely... A lot of prayer goes into it every week, and I kind of had to push myself out of my comfort zone to get there, but this week I think it was easy because I had a song that I really connected to and I loved, and it was really, it was, you know, I just kind of left it all out there. Just the mindset going into it was like, you know, four people are going home, so just... There's no room for nerves. Just do, just do everything exactly. So, that's I think that's what really helped me out this week. Right. And then, would you say like, think about back to a year ago? Would you ever have imagined you'd be in this position now? It's so weird. My life has changed. Like I've done a full 180 from where I was a year ago, and it's really a testament to how much you can do if you let yourself I guess because I never thought that I had the ability to do any of this um, I remember like and even after my blind audition I was like well that was cool but like battles are next like that's it for me you know and it's like every single step of the way has been like I can't believe I'm here like it's it is so crazy still um, I don't know if I'll ever really fully wrap my mind around it. <laughs> do you ever feel like there was like a point in the process where you're like, you know what, I can actually do this. Like I could win the voice. <laughs> I don't know that I've even really gotten there yet, but um, I think last week, especially like to get to the semifinals, um, to have America supporting me and to see Blake be so supportive of me as a coach and to have so much faith in me, it's like, that has boosted my confidence so much. And it's like, I truly, like, I know I keep saying it, but I, I can never see myself getting here. Um, even a few months ago, I can never see myself getting here and or having the, having the guts to perform on that stage. And so I'm just, to see how far I've come, it's just. And here you are. So crazy. She's here, guys. <laughs> yeah. She's here. And what is something that, you know, we're, we're stepping into the finals. What would winning the show mean to you? Because I know it's like a really, it's a big deal. Right. That would be insane. Oh, my gosh. Especially just when you take into account how gifted all of these people are. I mean, this is the most talented group of individuals I've ever encountered and to get to know them and work with them and, you know, be like their peers is just like the most amazing thing. So, you know, to win the show would be insane. Pretty cool. Yeah. Pretty cool thing to go back home after, you know, totally. during Christmas and say that you did. Right. That would be the best Christmas present. Yeah. <laughs> well, we are rooting for you. We'd love to see you in the finals. Thank and you. I think you did an amazing job tonight. So proud of you. Thank you so much for chatting with us. Hi, guys. It's Lauren with Talent Recap, and I'm here with semi-finalist Ricky. Congratulations for making it this far. That's pretty cool. Yeah, thank you so much. Appreciate it. How does it feel to be so close to the end? Uh, it feels incredible. I never really thought that I would be uh, in this position. I, you know, after blinds, I was like, how long? See how long I last, you know? But uh, to be here right now is truly a dream come true, you know? Is there something that happened this week that maybe America didn't get to see, the cameras didn't get to see, things that maybe you were working on? Um, yeah, let it be going through, you know, just up until the performance was such uh, a process for me, like in every part of the world, like from musically to emotionally to lyrically and and uh, the actual performance. There's so much that went into that. And uh, I was really nervous about performing it, to be honest with you. But I am happy with my performance. You know? Good. It's so. always good to be happy with yeah. your performance. What do you think was like the moment where you're like, okay, I think that I've got this. Like, I feel good about performing this song. On the stage, for, like tonight. tonight. Because tonight. my rehearsals, I was like, eh, no. Yeah, well, I always feel so, like rehearsals, you can like psych yourself well, out. Here's the thing about Let It Be, too, and, and songs of that level. 
the connection with the audience is essential and I think being in that room and, and having them actually there and feeling that moment helped me perform it better. And how did Blake help you through the process? Because I know he's a huge fan of yes. you. He said that if Love people it. didn't vote you through to the finals, they were crazy. I think he <laughs> used some other words, but you know, <laughs> we'll say that. Yeah, um, it's been amazing. He uh, he always knows. See, he's so smart, especially on this show, because he knows what the viewers want. And he was telling me, you know, when I went for rehearsal, I didn't have a big vocal moment. He's like, you need to have a vocal moment because you still haven't done that really on the show. And, uh, you know, great advice, and I think it worked, so. Yeah, he said it was your best vocal performance. I would agree with that. So congrats. Thank that's you so a, much. That's a big deal. Well, what would winning The Voice mean to you? Because now we're a week away, and that might actually happen. Uh, wow. To win The Voice would be a total dream. You know, it's just like uh, something I would never have imagined for me to be able to do. And, uh to be voted number one on this season would be incredible. But either way, I'm just happy that I'm here at top eight. If I get voted off tomorrow, I'm really happy that I had this opportunity. And uh, I really am not disappointed if I go home at this point. I think everyone here is a winner. So You've done an amazing job this season. So we're excited for you. We need America to vote. And we will hopefully see you next week. All right. What's up? This is Ricky Duran, and you're watching Talent Recap. Hi, this is Kat Hammock, and you're watching Talent Recap. Hey, hey, you over there, I see you watching. You still haven't subscribed yet? What are you waiting for? Hit the subscribe button below right now. You know you have to.